Howdy folks, I'm Rand Fishkin, co-founder of SparkToro. In this video, I'll walk you through how to use SparkToro to get remarkable, never before available data that can have a huge impact on your marketing. First, let's talk about what SparkToro can do. SparkToro is an audience intelligence tool that gathers billions of web and social profiles, aggregates them, and gives you the power to search across them. That means you can, for example, quickly find out which podcasts are popular with science fiction writers, or discover niche websites popular with professionals in the logistics field. If you can describe an audience's online behavior, the words they use in their profile or bio, or if you already know a source your audience follows, for example, if you want to reach players of Dungeons and Dragons, SparkToro can tell you a ton about what else any of these describable groups follow, listens to, reads, watches, visits, and more. Our early customers have used SparkToro to accomplish a vast variety of marketing tasks. Building an outreach list for guest contributions, editorials, guest posts, content submissions for brand reach and audience building and SEO purposes. Crafting a list of podcasts to reach out to for guest spots an underutilized tactic. It works really well because podcast hosts are often desperate for good guests. So we have heard some amazing success stories here. Finding potential targets for partnerships, co-marketing, affiliate relationships, and creative audience sharing of all kinds. Or to go the very direct financial route and seek out publications, people, events who will accept advertising, sponsorship, paid amplification, influencer marketing, those types of transactions. Many of our users search SparkToro to identify the social accounts that best reach an audience so they can ask those social users for amplification of their content. And there's loads of creative uses we've seen too. Finding speakers for webinars uh, that'll help fill up those seats, discovering people to network with when visiting a new city, identifying sales targets, loads more. To keep things simple, I'll walk through some example use cases for one of my favorite early SparkToro customers, Kettle and Fire. These fine folks make bone broth down in Austin, Texas, and have numerous loyal customers, myself obviously included. Kettle and Fire wants to find the sources of influence for folks who regularly buy and consume bone broth. These folks tend to be interested in healthy eating and culinary arts. They have a lot of customers particularly passionate about keto and paleo diets. This is useful information for audience intelligence research. Kettle and Fire's challenge is to discover new ways to reach their target audience with marketing of all kinds that can help them earn future customers. That could be guest editorials, appearances on relevant podcasts, advertising on the right websites, building relationships with influential social media account holders, or any of the other tactics we talked about. Kettle and Fire might wisely start by looking at what their current audience pays attention to. You can see 39% of their social followers also follow or engage with Chris Kresser, a self-described health detective specializing in investigative medicine. Maybe there's an opportunity there. Let's check out the website. It looks like Chris has a sizable email newsletter. That might be an amazing opportunity for a sponsorship or paid placement, or maybe an organic mention and link if Kettle and Fire can make Chris into a fan. I mean, maybe he's tried their product and like me, already is one. Let's say Kettle and Fire had success working with Chris Kresser in one way or another and wants to reach more audiences like his. A quick click to SparkToro's profile on the account and we can see a bunch of attributes about the audience that follows and engages with him on the web. These words and phrases might make for great search terms in SparkToro, but we can quickly analyze the entire audience by running an Intel search on Chris's followers. Boom, now I've got even more sources to investigate and target. Let's shift gears and look more closely at two of SparkToro's other key features, geography and filters. Perhaps I run a search like bone broth and find some good intel, 
but want to limit the audience to the United States, since that's where Kettle and Fire's focus is right now. Great. Now I've got just my US bone broth audience. Let's go see what social accounts they follow. This list looks good, but maybe as I'm looking at these, I've got the sense that they're too mainstream or popular. Instead of targeting those accounts everyone knows about in the health and diet space, perhaps I'm interested in the accounts that have relatively decent reach, but aren't massively popular or well-known. Those might be easier outreach targets. The Hidden Gems filter was one of our early users' favorite features. It filters SparkToro's results to show those accounts with fewer followers, but a higher ratio of audience reach to overall size. In this case, I'm getting results with tens of thousands of social followers rather than hundreds of thousands or millions, but these are likely golden opportunities that my competitors and the broader market might not be aware of. Not too shabby, eh? This is a good time to start building a list and to highlight another facet of SparkToro's capabilities, the hashtag search feature. Wow, more than 10,000 profiles in SparkToro's database have recently used this hashtag. There's a lot of gold here. Mind Body Green, Chris Kresser, Paleo Hacks, Women's Health Mag, Bon Appetit, Greatest.com. Okay, that, that's a good start. I've checked all these boxes. Now I can jump to the top of the interface and create a new list. I'll call it Paleo Outreach Targets. And then magic. Those sources I checked are automatically added to the list. I can hop over to the social media tab and do the same thing. Mark, Chris, Sarah, Paleo Magazine, all look promising. And there are undoubtedly hundreds, if not thousands more opportunities I could investigate for this list, but we'll hold here for now. On my lists page, the tool shows me all the lists I've created and the number of sources I've got on each. Clicking into the paleo list I just made, I can see how many websites and social accounts I've got and easily modify, remove, add, or export the data. I like to build my lists pretty liberally at first and then call them later from this UI, but the choice of how to run your list building and management process is up to you. Okay, you've got the idea. SparkToro is a powerful tool with previously impossible to access data, but it's also really simple to use. Find ways to describe your audiences, sources of influence they already follow, hashtags they use, then search, build lists, and boom, you'll start your targeting and outreach work with a far more relevant, more likely to work set of sources. Now let's shift gears to talk about what SparkToro is and isn't good at. I kind of hate when products and founders don't openly show their weaknesses. And like every tool, we have some too. SparkToro is an excellent source of data if your audience is reachable through online sources of influence, publications, social accounts, podcasts, YouTube channels, etc. If that's not the case with at least some consistency, SparkToro doesn't work as well. It works really well if there are 150 to 200 or more profiles in our database matching your search criteria. If an audience has fewer, but they're very homogenous in their behavior, meaning they all generally follow, share, and visit similar things, that number goes down. And if the reverse is true, and an audience is very diverse in their behavior, that number goes up. Note that SparkToro won't use up any of your search credits for audiences with fewer than 150 profiles. So don't worry that you're using up your monthly queries with too small audience sizes. SparkToro works really well if your audience can be described with unique words and phrases that they use in their profiles or their content, or with websites and social accounts they already follow. You, it works really well if you're seeking sources of influence that impact a relatively high percentage of an audience based on their interests and behavior. And it works well if you're targeting English language audiences, because right now SparkToro's geographic focus is the US, Canada, Australia, and the United Kingdom. SparkToro is, on the other hand, not so great when you're attempting to reach an audience based on demographics or implied behaviors that go largely unreported or untalked about online. For example, if you wanna reach people who own homes 
and are over 65, SparkToro isn't so great because we don't use demographics like these. Now, maybe you'd say that a lot of that audience already follows the AARP, so you can use that as an input to start finding opportunities, and that's great. But if you're trying to reach audiences that don't express a particular interest or have an observable online behavior to search on, we may not be a match. It doesn't work as well if an audience is, like we discussed before, relatively small or has very diverse behavior. You can see these figures right at the top of the overview page after performing a search. For example, an audience that talks about Belgian poetry is right on the borderline of being too small and has very diverse behavior, so the results may not be as good as other queries. It also doesn't work as well if you're looking for an audience that has very few or no existing publications, accounts, podcasts, or channels that reach it well. We haven't found many of these, but they do exist. And finally, it doesn't work so well if you're seeking an audience that speaks a non-English language or doesn't reside in or follow sources of influence in English language countries. Over the long term, we hope to reach more geographies, more languages, but we're starting with English, so that's what most of the database covers today. With these tips and tactics in mind, you're ready to get to work. SparkToro is waiting for you. Have at it, and good luck on all your marketing efforts. Take care.